plastics have become a massive problem for the planet, causing serious harm to animals and especially for those living in water. The aquatic life is badly affected. Every year, tons and tons of plastic waste end up in different places. And a huge amount of it gets buried in soil because people don't realize just how harmful it is. The problem, once we throw the plastic away, it just doesn't disappear. It sticks around for a longer period of time and creates pollution. Most plastics don't break down naturally because bacteria in the soil cannot digest them. The bacteria cannot convert the plastic into substances which are not harmful for the environment. So these are called non-biodegradable plastics, which basically means they won't break down. This plastic that won't break down naturally by biological processes are called non-biodegradable plastics. Like uh, food scraps or paper, they can they are get they get converted by the bacteria into uh, other substances which are not harmful for the environment. While uh, there are some plastics which are biodegradable, but the majority of the plastic that we use, like bottles, bags, wrappers, are non-biodegradable. And here is a real issue. These plastic don't just stay in the soil for a few years. They sit there for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, polluting the soil and causing all sort of the problem. One of the worst things that they can do is to block the rainwater from seeping into the ground. When this continues for several hundreds of years, guess what happens? The groundwater level starts to drop. And that's bad news for everyone because we need groundwater for drinking, farming and so much more. Now you might think, why don't we just burn the plastic? Shall we burn the plastics then? Well, that's even worse. Burning plastic releases toxic gases, harmful gases such as methane which is very very toxic. Not only does it cause major air pollution but these gases are also dangerous for animals to, and humans to breathe in. Inhaling this polluted air can lead to serious health problems. So yeah, burning plastic is not a good idea at all. Let's talk about how long different materials take to break down. Some disappear pretty fast, while others stick around forever. To start with, we have food waste and fruit peels. Super quick, just one to two weeks and the bacteria in the soil completely breaks them down. Meaning they convert them into non-harmful substances. Paper takes a bit longer, that is two to four weeks, but it is still pretty fast, right? Yes, it is. Cotton. Bacteria work on it for two to five months before turning it into harmless stuff. Then comes wool, the one that we wear during winter. Yes, this one takes about an year to decompose, roughly an year to decompose. The bacteria has to work for a year to convert this into harmless substance. Wood. Now we are getting serious. Wood can take up to 10 to 15 years to completely break down. See, 10 to 15 years is quite a long time, right, for bacteria to work on it and completely break it down into substances that are harmless to the environment. Now, moving on to aluminium, this one is too long. It takes 100 to 500 years to decompose. That means if you use an aluminium can today and throw it off to the ground, it will be still be around for centuries, probably longer than you. And plastic, and here is the worst one. Plastic stays on earth for over 500 years. Can you imagine that? Every plastic item we use and throw away is going to be a burden on this planet for centuries. It is that simple. It is, it is very simple to understand that how harmful plastics are. So to sum it up, food, paper, cotton, wool and wood break down in weeks to years like 1 to 2 weeks to maximum 10 to 15 years and these are called biodegradable materials because they naturally decompose into harmless substances by the action of bacteria. It's a biological process. But aluminium and plastic, they are non-biodegradable because they do not break down naturally. They remain a burden for the earth. Now think of all the plastic that we use every day, it is a big problem, right? What more do you want to see to understand that plastic is a menace? Now that we know how harmful plastic is, let's talk about what we can do to reduce the plastic use. First of all, we can all carry a reusable bag when shopping instead of grabbing plastic ones, right? Yes. 
Also, just avoid plastic wipe, avoid the polythene bag whenever you go to the grocery store. We can also encourage businesses to use paper bags instead of plastic ones and switch to paper cups instead of plastic cups. Every small change will help. We can also recycle plastic items like used bottles, uh, broken buckets and other plastic waste. We can all be creative, find ways to reuse them instead of throwing them away. Another great idea, compost pit. Composting biodegradable waste. Every home can have a compost pit where food scraps and other biodegradable waste break down naturally with the help of bacteria. And most importantly, as responsible citizens, we should be disposing plastic wastage properly in designated garbage collection areas. Don't just throw it out of the school bus, car or motorcycle. Use the proper garbage bins instead of littering parks and streets. This is the least that we can do to keep our environment clean.